if you're new to my channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button right here, right now, if you want to see more home, holiday, event, and DIY decor. And make sure to hit that notification bell as well, so you'll be alerted every time I upload a video, which is usually on Thursdays at 7 ish o'clock <laughs> um, except for last Thursday because as you guys know I was injured if you haven't seen that video go check out <laughs> my Facebook and see how I was <sighs> yeah I was injured anyway today I am going to show you how to make a round backdrop out of wood this time <laughs> not full board um, yeah it was interesting and actually very fun to make so let's get started all right guys so my round backdrop is going to consist of two half moons made out of plywood so you are going to need two pieces of plywood this originally was four by eight and I got it cut down to four by six so the guys at Home Depot cut two inches of both of my pieces okay so what you see here is four by six and now I'm going to go ahead and trace my half moons with a piece of PEX tube. This is a half an inch by five feet. Well, it used to be. This is actually left over from another project, so this is only half of it. So when you go by the PEX tube, this is the way you want to draw your half moon. It's going to be bigger, which is even better. So all you have to do is just basically twist it into a half moon and just trace around it. But since I only have half, I'm going to trace one half and then I'm going to trace the other half. I'm going to be using my jigsaw to cut the plywood. And my jigsaw I got from Home Depot and I believe it was about 50 bucks and the brand is Ryobi. And here's what it looks like so far. Right now it's a little flat right on top because I only made it six feet. Um, I should have left it at eight feet. I would have had more room to play. But if I was to chop up some more, it's just going to get smaller all around and I don't want that. So I'm just gonna leave it as is. And once I place the garland right on top, you are not even going to be able to see that. So this is it. Now I'm going to add support to my half moons or my half circles by adding a strip of wood. This is two by two by eight originally, but it's two by two by six feet now. And I'm going to add it to the corner of each moon. All right, so now the stick is right underneath my half moon right here at the edge. Make sure it doesn't come over because then it will come into conflict when you're trying to close it. So make sure that the wood doesn't pop out, okay? All right, so I'm going to be using one and a half inch screws, and there it is. Okay, one and a half inch. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and drill a hole right in the middle and screw it in. Also, make sure that your drill bit is always smaller than your screws, and also make sure that when you drill your hole, you don't do it all the way in because you need your screw to have something to grip from, okay? So make sure you leave a bit of raw material so it can get tight in there. Did the very same thing on the opposite side and of course left the middle untouched. Next, I'm going to be drilling a hole through my stick where I'm going to be placing my bolt. This is actually going to hold both of the panels together and the legs, okay? So this is the purpose for this. And I'm also going to be using smaller bolts for the bottom for support. And I'm gonna be drilling holes here as well, but they're gonna be smaller. So here we have the main hole for the legs and here is the hole for support. Here are the sticks that I'm going to be using to make my L stands in the back of my backdrop so it can stand. So these two are two feet long and this one in the back is three feet each, okay? So you're going to need two that are three feet and two that are two feet. And as you can see, I already pre-drilled the holes on these sticks, okay? And the best way for you to get the right measurements is to go behind the backdrop and make sure you align everything perfectly and just you know, draw a dot and then drill your holes. Before I put my backdrop together, I'm gonna go ahead and paint it in a light gray. It's called Granite Gray by Glidden. 
and I got it at Walmart for 20 bucks, I believe, a little over 20 bucks. All right, let's do it. All right, guys, I'm going to start by placing my larger bolts. These are two galvanized 3 8 by 8 inches. And for these, I'm using two washers. One that's going to go at the top, the other one at the bottom, and I'm using one nut, okay? So each bolt has to have two washers and a nut, okay? All right, so I'm going to go with the first one. I'm going to grab my 3 feet stick that is going to be part of the legs, and I'm just going to put it through here. Hey. I'm going to grab my smaller sticks, which are my two foot sticks, and I'm going to place them right here. Lastly, I'm going to place my last two bolts, which are my 516 by 4 inches, and these also have two washers and a nut. As you can see, there's a little bit of a gap here. I was thinking about placing hinges, but I think I don't need it. What I'm going to do is just attach another of the 516 by 4 inch bolt, and I think that will be perfect. All right guys, I'm going to give you a quick summary on how the whole backdrop is holding together. On top I have a 516 by 4 inches bolt with two washers and a nut, okay? And then about 3 quarters of the way down, okay, I have a 3 8 by 8 inches uh, bolt. And that's holding the support sticks, which are 6 feet tall, there's two of them along with the three feet sticks that are making the L stand, okay? So that's four sticks through the eight inch bolt, okay? And then at the bottom, I also have another uh, three eighth by eight inches because there's four sticks as well, so it needs to be wider. And down below, right here, I have the two feet sticks along with the three fist sticks together with the 516 by four inches, just like the one at the top, okay? So you're gonna need three bolts that are 516 by four inches and two bolts that are 3 8 by eight inches. <laughs> I got it, yes. And here it is, ladies and gentlemen, standing on its own. Look at that. Love it. All right, guys, there you have it. You've been asking for it, and I finally got the guts to make it. <laughs> Not bad at all. The only thing I do regret is cutting off the other two inches that it came with. This was originally eight feet tall, and I made it six. I don't know why. I don't know why. I also like that the bottom is uh, flat. That I don't have a problem with because it totally helps keeping it balanced, okay? I'm going to make another one, and I'm going to make it rounder i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did please make sure to give me a big thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet you can do so where it says subscribe right there in that corner right now <laughs> also leave me a comment let me know what you thought of my round backdrop and let me know what will you use it for also make sure to share 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 sharing is caring if you know of a friend or a family member that would love to have Anybody would love to have this. It's so in style right now. So just share it with everyone. All right, guys. Until next time. Bye.